Announcements. The first being that uh, if you please go to the Pure Bhakti website when you get a chance, you'll see there's an announcement about the formation of Gurudev's International Society. Uh, you may know that we previously, a few years ago, incorporated Bhakti Trust International, but after talking with a number of senior devotees, Srila Gurudev decided that rather than just have a trust, he wanted to form a society so that all the devotees could feel that they have a say and a participation in the direction of the Sangha. There's a lot more that I could say about that. Uh, please go to the website and read about it and contact us when you have some questions or, or feedback on it. The second very important item is in regard to the LA Temple. Many of the devotees here, of course, have uh, been worried about uh, the LA Temple and you'll be glad to know that many of the senior devotees uh, under Gurudev's direction have spent the last few days talking the matter threadbare and looking at how to make the LA Temple really work, how to solve the basic problems that it faces financially and organizationally. You'll be glad to know that Srila Gurudev himself, under, uh, excuse me, along with uh, the help of his senior devotees is offering to help the L.A. Temple, but we're also uh, asking that the devotees in the L.A. Temple pull their weight and do their fair share to make the L.A. Temple happen. We would also like to humbly ask that any of you who are interested in supporting the L.A. Temple, please step forward, either with time or uh, resource, or devotion, or money, or networks, or whatever you have to make the LA Temple work, because Srila Gurudev really would like to see this temple uh, stay in our Sangha. He sees it as a great opportunity for us to preach, and uh, we just kindly uh, and humbly ask you all to please do whatever you can to support the temple. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, next up, we've got a few things that uh, We've uh, customarily we're going to do uh, first. Uh, uh, we're going to have Nirgun Prabhu uh, mention all, all of the devotees that have been so kind to help make this this uh, festival a success. And after that, uh, we've got a, a very special auction of some very nice Jeet plays of Shamarani's artwork. Thank you. Jai Shri Gurudev Ki We would like to thank Gurudev unlimitedly for coming here 
in giving us so much. This matchless gift that He is giving us is received in according to how much we can follow His instructions. Um, we'd also uh, like to thank all the senior Vaishnavas, sannyasis, for also giving us this wonderful association, this beautiful Hari Kata. This is the this, 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 this is the largest festival that we've had so far. And uh, I hope every year it can keep growing like it is. Every year it, it grows by some 20% or something. It's incredible. Yeah, like this. It's growing. So, yeah. Largest book distribution, too. So, yeah. Yeah, due to uh, book distribution, it is also growing very wonderfully. Thank you, all you creatures. Uh, also, uh, we would like to give acknowledgement to so many devotees that have helped. And I know in this list, it, it will go on and on. I will not be able to, I, I'm, this list will not be complete, I'm sure. There's so many persons here. We've had up to 700 people here yesterday, and over 500 people every day at this festival. And so many people have helped. Hundreds of people have helped in so many ways. So if, if your name is not mentioned, please forgive me. I'm sure Krishna is watching. So, first of all, I want to, I want to, to say that uh, uh, before the festival, many persons have come a couple weeks before the festival, and all through the festival they have helped so much. Uh, I, uh, Shravan and Lalita have worked incessantly. And also the Lachala they have organized different departments. This festival is quite large, and so there's so many departments, and so they've all taken different uh, sections of the festival, redoing the houses and everything, making ready for the festival. So, a special thanks to them. And then the cooks, there's Damaraj Prabhu, Sevanandi, Manmohan, Radhana. Darshan, Bhishma, Gopanandini, and I know Vyasa Pad has been making these pancakes for you every day. Getting up at 3 o'clock and beginning to cook up to 750 pancakes I'm hearing this morning. So, Shravan Kumar, uh, Devananda. And uh, again, before the festival there was Gopabalava. Kamala Kanta. Uh, the whole boys' school and girls' school came over to assist. Including in the girls' school, Jai Shri, Janava, Radhika. And in the boys' school, uh, let me see what we got here. Uh, Nichananda, Radhapriya, Haridas, and especially Prane Pradeep, Madhukar, Madhukar, Gor. Gorpran, Kishore, and uh, kitchen helpers, uh, pot washers, servers, and cleanup crew. There's Premalata, Radha Madhava, Radha Vinod, Gorahari, Gurangi, Dadmantari, Sachinandan, Dadrai, Manjari, Krishna Kanta, Yoga Maya, Krishna Das, and Chelsea. Uh, in the trash area, we had Karuna Sindhu, Jagani Das, Nandan Das, Bharat Prabhu, uh, Vrindavan, Vrinda, Vrinda Das, Babaji, Abhi, Abhi Ramdas, and our lifeguard who is sat out in the hot sun through so many sessions, Raghunath. Uh, in the toilet area, we have uh, Matreya Muni, and, and again Bharata, uh, Karuna Nidhi Das, and Jagani, and Manjari. So many have helped. And I, I don't think this list could go on quite a ways. And I, I thank everyone. It's been a very wonderful festival. And uh, 
all due to our divine master, Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. We want to thank you, Bhagavan Prabhu, for all the nice and all the Successful festival here in New Brudge Dam. Right. And now we want to talk a little bit about something very wonderful, something very dear to Srila Guru Dave's heart. We all heard uh, the uh, Budara Prabhu make the point about how important this LA center is to Srila Guru Dave's heart. We also know how important this Guru Kul school is to Srila Guru Dave's heart here in New Brudge. And we also know how important it is the legacy that he's trying to leave us in the Navadweep Dam temple that he's building for us. We've got the Nat Mandir in. I talked with Gopi now. The Nat Mandir is in. They're about to build the temple proper where uh, the deities are going to be living. And then part of the guest house is already being built. So the project is moving along. And of course, for all of these things, Srila Prabhupada said there's four things that are needed and uh, land and uh, uh, capital, organization, and labor. And so right now, we're going to dress capital. <laughs> and <laughs> we're going to have a little fundraiser. What we're going to do is we've got some beautiful paintings here. These she clays are actually reproductions of the masterworks, the spiritual masterworks that have been done by Srimati Shaimarani for years under the guidance of Srila Prabhupada and Srila Gurudev, she has been getting direct spiritual transmissions and guidance as to how to paint the windows to the spiritual world and under their direction and guidance and by their mercy she has been giving us a view into this great spiritual world where Srila Prabhupada is trying to and Srila Gurudev is trying to take us all by the hand so the G clay, what is a G clay? What is a reproduction of a painting? A G clay is something very high tech special thing that they've developed, which not only reproduces the colors of the painting, but it actually captures some of the depth and texture and subtle nuances that are in a painting so that it almost completely mirrors what an original painting is. And that's what makes a G clay a very special reproduction. So what we're going to be doing here today is auctioning off a few of these paintings in their frames for the devotees. Huh? Some also without frames. It for the devotees here. And we want you to remember that the monies that are collected here today will be divided between the LA Temple Project, which is now being headed by Ms. Chinta Prabhu and a group of great devotees, and the Guru Kul School, which is headed by two of the most wonderful devotees, Gopanandini and Brajendra Nandan. And Shri Guru Dave's heart and soul, the Navadweep Dam Project. Haribo. So, let's everyone uh, please uh, think deeply in your hearts about what you can sacrifice in this area to help these three projects come closer to completion and to continue on I'm going to have Ms. Chinti now introduce the first paintings, and then we'll start the project. This painting, our G clay, is the cover, all right, of the essence of the Bhagavad Gita. Gives you big bragging rights, and the initial bid for this. G. Clay, signed by Shamarani D.D. and Srila Gurudev, is $3,000. Lee Haribo! Krishna Mohan. Okay, so please remember now what the benefit of making your bid for these paintings is, where the money's going, how it's going to help the projects all over the world for Sherwood Guru Dave. The opening bid is $3,000. Who is going to make the opening bid on this project right now? 
Yeah, I know him. Okay, right here. Gopi Nath. Gopi Nath. Three thousand. Do I hear more than three thousand? No pressure. No pressure. Four thousand. Someone else hold I can't. Anybody else? We're gonna say three thousand going once. Three thousand going twice. Sold to Gopinath, three thousand dollars. Now we're going to have another. This is two sets, two paintings. Wow. This is the very famous Radha Krishna Manini and Radharani lamenting alone and the absence of her beloved Sri Krishna. This is going to go as a set. The two paintings are going to go as a set. A very handsome set for your home and a very great donation to help all these three projects. The two paintings together, the opening bid is $6,000. Who is going to make the opening bid here today? of $6,000 for these paintings. Gopinath! 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 Is there no one else? <laughs> no, Gopinath is it. <laughs> is there anybody else? It's like Achilles. Is there, is there no one else? <laughs> Is there anyone else who would like to contribute more than $6,000 to this painting? $6,500? Who, who said that? Oh, Prajna! <laughs> All right, there's no one else. It's Gopinath for $6,000. Yeah. All right, we have we have a set of paintings here that are coming from the new books by Srila Guru Dave. Chabat, Chandrika, Chabatkar Chandrika, and Prem Samput. These paintings were especially designed for these uh, books. Can you walk? These are the G clays again, the excellent reproductions on canvas. There is no um, frame on these. These are taken as they are. They're going for $2,000. They will be signed. They'll be signed both by Srimati Shamarani and Srila Gurudev. They're going for $2,000 each. We have three of them. Hold them up. 1000 sorry. Okay, $1,000 each. It's a $1,000 contribution for each one of these. So we'd like to see some hands in the audience. Who would like to bid $1,000 for one of these paintings? Anybody in the audience is going to bid $1,000 for one of these? Put your hand up. Open up. How many? What? One piece. One thousand. Take that one. By Gopinath. Anybody else want to bid a thousand for one of these pieces? Anyone else in the audience? Come on now. There's other devotees here I know that can afford at least one thousand dollars to buy one of these paintings. Over here, you're going to take one, $1,000 from 
Alita, Guy. We only have one more left. If we get one more, that'll be a total of $12,000 collected today. Who would like to make the last bid of $1,000 in order to make it a total of $12,000 collected for Guru Dave's projects? Anybody else out here? Who? You. You, Bhagavan. You. You, Bhagavan. You. You. <laughs> Next time he will again ask Bhagavad Prabhu invite him to do a fundraising. <laughs> the bids will start at ten thousand that time. Bhagavad Prabhu King! Okay, very quickly, before the play starts, the time is passing very fast. So please we mention your name, those devotees who receive initiation today. Stand up and we call your name and see the good name announce your new name. Receiving Harinam today, Celsia Kao from Penn Valley, California. Christopher Truscott from UK. Chandra Mohan Prabhu Ki Jai Gotai Devi Tomanuja from California Gopi Devi Ki Jai Jimmy Valentine from the LA Temple receiving Harinam Giving his sound, everything, and he's very happy to finally receive initiation. Nancy Almer from Oregon, receiving Harinam initiation. Receiving Shiksha from Florida, Janardan Das Prabhu. Receiving Harinam from Hawaii, Jeff Sandbot. Now all are ready for drama? Yeah. Kanguli Prabhu Kija. And bus for the Guru Kula to go traveling. And even today, Srila Guru Dave saw that bus and he was so excited he jumped right in. To the driver's seat. wanted to jump in with him and go traveling with him. because he's the driver of our bus of Bhakti. And so thank you Prabhu and also to, you've heard, Sadhananda Prabhu has been giving very nice monthly donations and now for one year I just wanted to mention the names of uh, a few devotees here who have been giving every month and helping the school so much. Uh, Vinay Argawal. Krishna Bhamani, Deva Prabhu, Keshava Kanta Devi Dasi, 
Krishnadas, Nimai Chaitanya, Nityananda Das Prabhu. I just wanted to say devotees have given us some 10, 20, 25, 50, 108, so much every month. And it's helping so much. In that example, Hanuman, uh, one spider came and he was giving just a little for the bridge according to his ability. And Hanuman was saying, oh, you're in the way. But Lord Ram came in and said, no, everybody who can help to their ability is perfect. So everyone can please help so much. You can sign up. We have some... Um, <coughs> Oh, no, and uh, our, we have a brochure and some forms at the table there. Also, a beautiful newsletter and all information is there. Also, we have a website. But just to complete it, uh, Lalita Priyadasi. Vrindavan oh. oh. Das from Hawaii. Bandini oh. Shakti Dakini. Oh. Krishna Kanti Das. Yashoda Devi Dasi. Radhika. Manjali and, and Bishwambar, Raghunandan Das, Matelajish Prabhu, Manjali Didi, Vini Bhakti Didi, Vinodri Didi, and Vino Didi and Anjali Didi. Thank you very much for your support and we pray that this school, by Gurudev's mercy, will continue to have great and increasing success. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Now drum player can start the drum play. Prior to that, in this festival, we forget to announce Nandagopal Prabhu's family's name. So we are sorry that we don't announce by Nidhi Prabhu or others. So thank you, Nandan Prabhu, and your whole family. Hey! And last announcement tomorrow, Shri Gurudev is leaving. We are all very sad that he cannot stay longer, but Gurudev wants to again come back next year. Hey! you we request you in San Francisco Guru Dave will only take one day rest and then we are leaving there will be no program and there is no darshan there is no need for all of you to jump in your cars and drive to San Francisco but you're welcome in Hong Kong yeah. <laughs> in India during Kartik all of you are welcome in Dining Bajamandal Parikrama Oh my Ganet, Mirandisha, Arundana Shalakaya, Chakshuru Nitam Jena, Tasmai Shri Guru Venamaha, Anarpita Chiram Chira, Kurana, Matirna Kado, Samar Payat Mantra, Samusva Bhakti Shriyam, Hari Purata Sundara Dutya, Kanda Sanda Pita, Sada Hidaye Kandare, Skurato Sachinam Jena. Five hundred years ago, Sri Vrajanda Nandan Krishna appeared in this world as Sri Sachinandan Gora Hari to experience the frame of Srimata Radharani. He remained in the Gambir for the last twelve years of his life and relished her sweet sentiments through songs written by Vaishnavas who existed before him. One such Vaishnava was named Sri Jayadev Goswami and his famous work Sri Gita Govinda was especially dear to Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Toward the end of Sri Mahaprabhu's manifest pastimes, Sri Jiva Goswami was fortunate enough to go on pilgrimage of Sri Navadi Dham with Sri Nityananda Prabhu and other beloved associates of the Lord. While touring the sacred island of Kolodri, the Kuburgan of Navadri, they entered the village of Champahati. Listen, O son of Valo. At this place, there was once a beautiful champak forest. Here, the Saki Champak lad picks beautiful champak flowers, turns them into garlands, and offers them to Sri Radha and Krishna. When Kali Yuga advanced, merchants began to harvest these flowers and began to sell them. Since then, this place has been known as Champahat, the market of flowers. It was here that the great poet Jayadev Goswami resided for some time. Jayadev Goswami was the chaste and devoted son of Padma of, of Bhojdev and Vamdevi. 
At the request of Jagannath Dev, he married the chaste and devoted Padmavati. Together, they lived in a hut near the king, near the, near the palace of the king of West Bengal, Lakshman Singh. Shri Jaya Deva Kaver Idamudi Tamudharam Shri Nushukhadam Shubhadam Bhavasharam Keshavadeta Dhashavidharupa O Keshava, you who assume these ten forms, O Jagadish, you remove your devotees' material desires. All glories to you. My humble supplication at your lotus feet is that you please hear this poem of your ten incarnations composed by the poet Jayadev because it describes the essence of your many forms and is most excellent, bestowing happiness and auspiciousness. Sadhu, Sadhu, what a wonderful poem. Oh, Govardhan, who is this Jayadev Goswami who has melted my heart? He must be empowered by the Lord. Because otherwise, how could he describe the glories of the Lord so eloquently? Who is he? Your Majesty, Jayadev is a great Vaishnava. He lives somewhere on the banks of Balal Dirgika. I must meet him. But he is a sadhu, and I am a king. How can this be done? He may not like me because of my materialistic responsibilities. Oh, what should I do? I know. I'll disguise myself, Govardhan. Then I'll go and meet him immediately. Come, let's go. That night, disguised as a commoner, the king went to the hut of Jayadev Goswami. <coughs> Are you the Kavi Jaidev? Yes, I am. And who are you? I am... I... I cannot lie to you. I cannot lie. I am Maharaj Lakshman Sain, the king of all of Bengal. I have heard a poem by you, and I'm so pleased. Please, I wish that you come with me to my palace, and there reside. As a poet, please accept my proposal. Have mercy on me. Association with a materialistic person never gives any beneficial result. Rather than live in your palace, I shall give up your kingdom. I will cross the Ganga and head towards Puri. No, wait. Wait, please. I actually have a very beautiful forest of Champa Hut called Champahati. It is very beautiful there. Please stay there. I will not come every day and bother you, but I will only go there when you like. Please, please have mercy on me. Although you have such great wealth, still you remain unattached. Thus you are not bound to this material world. I only called you a materialist to test you, and you tolerated my harsh words. Thus, I know you are a devotee of Krishna. Please, I will make arrangements for your cottage now. Jayadev Goswami resided in Champahati for some time. Every day, his wife Padmavati would bring many Champak flowers, which Jayadev Goswami would offer to Lord Krishna with great praying. Inspired by the Lord, Jayadev Goswami wrote Sri Gita Govind. Sí, 
about this? What you like? What? Is that? Hey, to see Bhaktas, would you like to absorb your minds and remember in Sri Krishna's sweet pastimes? Do you yearn to know his loving activities with the Brahmi gopis? May you become immersed in bliss by hearing this charming verse of the song composed by Jayadev. The Geek Govinda reveals many pastimes of Sri Govinda with his beloved gopis and Sringaras. Special focuses upon Ramani Shrimani, Shrimati Radhika, for she is the crown jewel of all young brides in Braj. In his samadhi, Sri Jayadev Goswami would witness so many astonishing pastimes and then write them in verse.
small trees are ornately ornamented with the fragrance of sweet musk. And the big kinsuka bunches of kinsuka flowers, which are red with the fine fingernails of calm day, and they shred the hearts of the young Ramanis. And in the center of such a scene, my Hari is there, playing with so many sweethearts. Oh, I cannot tolerate this. Sindar's loving smile during our Ross pastime still shines within my mind as his sweet lips blew into his enchanting flute. His eyes were restless, full of longing. His crown tilted as his earrings kissed his cheeks. My Govinda's hair decorated by peacock feathers in the shape of a half moon, made him look like a glistening blackish cloud sheltered by many rainbows. Although he is there enjoying himself with so many sweethearts, my mind remains with him alone. Galankini! Oh, playful one, why can't you just forget about this black person? Felipe, how can I forget him? He pervades my thoughts and everywhere I look, I remember our pastimes together. I want to forget him, believe me, I do, but I cannot. Then how can I help you? I cannot help you. I told you to give up that lampet. For he is black inside and out. But do you obey me? Now look at this state of joy. Anything. I cannot obey you. Because I am dying in separation. Whatever must come will come. But I cannot reject him. I cannot reject you. Listen to me, Radhe. Do not give up your man. Be strong, like me. <laughs> Thereafter, Radha has somehow managed to pass the night. When the morning came, Krishna fell at her feet and tried to pacify her with humble words. Although she was severely injured by the arrows of Cupid, on seeing her dear lover present before her in a submissive mood, she began to speak to him in a jealous mood.
I'm not done. Jay Keshav, your eyes are red and drowsy from passing a sleepless night and full of love for that beautiful gopi. My dearest, I have not been with anyone else. My eyes are closing because I am so tired. I am telling you the truth. Then tell me, why have your red lips become black? I know, because they have been tainted by the cudgel from kissing the eyes of another. And tell me, how do you explain the cuts on them? Hmm. My darling, my lips have been bitten by the bumblebees desirous of their scent. They have been wounded by no other. Oh, madam, your heart has become as black as your body because you are cheating a surrendered lover who so intensely suffers from Cupid's torture. Indeed, your reputation as a heartless woman killer dates back to your childhood when you murdered Putina. Just leave me alone. Oh, Radhi, do not doubt me unnecessarily. I would never cheat you. Just see, the red altar from that Ramani's feet shines upon your chest like the sun's rays. Your attachment for her is like a sprouted new leaf on the tree of your passionate desire. You cannot even hide your love for her. This is just the remains of a picture painted with reddish minerals. I have never held the feet of any other woman. A liar. <laughs> when you did not come on time, I waited and waited for you. What can I say? The pain I feel in separation is indescribable. I cannot live and I cannot die. But seeing you like this, I do not feel as much agony as I do shame. When I see the red glow of dawn, it is as if the honored awe you are feeling for that gopi has brimmed to the sky. And when I see the signs of that woman's happiness where you used to wear the costume of jewel, I become so ashamed. But no, you do not feel shame. Why did I ever love you? Just go away from me. Get out of here and go back to where you came from. I do not want to see your face again. <coughs> Radha was severely subjugated by the arrows of Cupid and disappointed to be deprived of the rapture of meeting with Krishna as she anxiously remembered Sri Hari's romantic activities, her companion spoke to her in a secluded place. Radhe, do not be angry with Madhava, for he has humbly come to this lovely kunj just for you. Oh, why are you so distant when that lover of yours is so near? He has bowed before you, but you have turned your face in anger. Oh, why are you still crying? Do not be so stubborn. By your man, the sandalwood paste on your limbs has turned to venom. The gentle moon, a scorching sun, and cooling camphor like a blazing fire. 
tell me truly, Radhe, why do you torture your heart in this way? The King of Bhavanda reveals all the loving moods of Srimati Radhika, especially her mind, which completely subdues Krishna and brings him fully under her control. One should understand that the loving exchanges between the divine couple are categorically distinctive from the mundane dealings between fallen embodied souls. Sri Krishna is the original transcendental source of all existence, and thus should never be viewed like a common cheating male. Likewise, Srimati Radhika should never be perceived as an ordinary female absorbed in any material relationship, for she is the predominant energy of the Supreme Personality of God. Shri Krishna. Their pastimes have the power to sanctify the whole world because they are completely free from even the slightest trace of lust. In this way, Kavi Jayadev wrote day and night. During the course of his writing, he came in a special part of Sri Hari's pastime in which he meditated deeply. Smara Gara Kandana Mama Sirasi Mandana Oh, how can I write such a thing as this? How can I manifest the idea that Srimati Radharani, the Shakti of Bhagavan, will place her foot on her, his head? Krishna. Krishna is the Supreme Person. So how can he be in such a subordinate position to the gopis? Oh, I am so perplexed. What should I do? I know. I will go to the Ganga and pray for some inspiration as to what to do. Oh, Padma! I'm going to Ganga to bathe now. I'll be back in a little while. Okay, Prabhu? <laughs> so soon. You only left a moment ago, and your clothes aren't even wet. Oh, I thought of something while I was w walking, and I thought I might have forgotten, so I came back to write it down. just left to go and take bath. Only a few moments ago, you were sitting and writing in your manuscript, took some foodstuffs, and then left again. So how could you have gone and taken bath and returned so quickly? Smara Gara Kantana! Mama Sirasi Mantana! Oh! Dehi Padapalava Mudharam! Dehi Padapalava Mudharam! Hey Padma! Today you become so fortunate, for you have received the darshan of Sri Krishna himself. He came to write, which I hesitated. Look, it is here in golden letters. Oh, I am so unfortunate that I did not have the darshan of Krishna. Let us take this prashad, for it has been tasted by your beloved Lord. Sweetheart, thank you for that too.
cover up your feelings. If not, then at least speak. Be it praise or not. Like Chakura birds can drink the moon's rays that shines from your jasmine white teeth. If you are really angry with me, then you may punish me any which way you like. You are the ornament of my life, the jewel of my existence. Everything that I do is for the sake of receiving your fortune. Your blue lotus-like eyes are now like red arrows of love. Be happy to pierce me with these arrows. <sighs> Oh my queen, please give up your anger. Here, me. The poison, the fiery poison of Cupid's venom pierces my heart with the intensity of the sun. Please, soothe me with the fresh bud of your enchanting feet and put them as an ornament upon my head. Smaragarala Kandana Mama Sirasimandana Dehi Padap 